Hey guys, Steve from Exclusive Wraps. Welcome to a new series that we're starting up that's gonna give you an in-depth look into some of the awesome cars that we get to work on here. We're gonna take you over some of the finer details, things that you don't normally see. Giant wing by 3.9 liter V8. I think you've even got AC in this thing. We're actually gonna have a look in the car. You'll see them start up. Different features of them, all that kind of cool stuff. We don't have a name for it yet, so please, if you can think of a good one, drop it in the comments, let us know. Other than that, let's get started. The first car we're gonna show you on our tour of this new series is the Ferrari 488 Challenge Evo, which is standing right behind me. First thing you're gonna notice is based on a standard 488, only it has, as you can see, an absolutely huge amount of aero. So this car, when you purchase it from Ferrari, you're not, you, this is not modified. This is how you buy it, straight from the dealer. Granted, we've done a little bit of work to it in the graphics department. You buy this as is, it's got a heap of aero, canards, front lips, everything, just about everything is carbon fiber. So if we walk down the side, you can see it's got extra little winglets under the mirrors. Um, the skirts hang a lot lower than on your standard 488. And if we come around the back here, giant wing that you can um, use as a table, you could eat off this thing, it's huge. Massive carbon rear diffuser, which actually has a very similar feel to the 488 Pista. Um, yeah, it's, it's an absolute monster, this thing. Now, if we take a look in here, both the front bonnet and the rear engine cover, this is a mid-engine rear-wheel drive car, can be removed using these pins right here. So they can just be pulled off completely, making it somewhat easier to work on. I don't know, it's probably quite difficult to get in the engine bay anyway, but it's powered by 3.9 liter V8, twin turbo, 670 horsepower full race spec. So let's take you around this way. I wanna give you a look inside the car because that's, that's where this thing really shows how it's, uh, it's, it's race spec or race prowess, if you will. Carbon fiber, everything, seats. It's actually got two seats. So if you have a friend that would like to go racing with you, you can take them with you. We've got carbon door skin. So the interior is fully stripped out, huge weight savings on this one. Um, racing steering wheel. It's got everything that you need to adjust and modify the vehicle to suit your driving style. You can even have a drink if you like. We'll take you through the startup sequence. In fact, I'll show you how you get into this thing, which to be honest is very awkward. It's not a uh, car that you're gonna drive around on the streets. Did I mention it's left-hand drive? I did miss that part. I've been looking at this car for a little while now. It's left-hand drive and it has the tiny little race steering wheel. Anyway, watch me struggle to get in. I'm gonna try and be as graceful as possible stepping over the gigantic fixed cage. Oh, there we go. Don't like shoes rubbing on things. Alrighty, so nice and snug. Really good seats, they're all adjustable too. Uh, well, they're adjustable forwards and backwards, but they're fixed back, uh, so they're not all adjustable. Race steering wheel, it's very, very grippy rubber uh, grips on the sides. Then you've got paddles obviously to, uh, to change gears. No key required to start this one up, as you're gonna see in our startup video, which we'll show you now. Let's give you a quick look at the startup process on this beast. Uh, foot on the big brake pedal down there, you can't miss that one. You wanna flick the master switch first, you get one light, flick the ignition switch second, you get two lights and they'll flash. All our screens should come on in a second. Beautiful, we're ready to go and we hit the start button. to life this thing sounds amazing there's 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 buttons for everything you've even got AC in this thing this is like a luxury race car almost um, it's even got a rear view camera that's which is a really really good thing to have in a car like this is very low and it's hard to see at the back there's there's no rear vision if you 
if you look behind me, maybe we can give you a quick quick look. There's there's nothing there. So <laughs> you you definitely need that rear view camera, which is really good. Um, all of your information is displayed on the dash there. I won't go too deep into the details of it because I don't really know a lot about them, but it's very cool. Look, we don't even have door handles. We actually have, I don't know if you can see this here, a little cord. This is how we open the door. Alrighty. We'll turn that one back off. And now I'll struggle to hop out of the vehicle. We'll try and do this in reverse. Thankfully, we have a nice big roll cage to grab onto, which is also the thing that's stopping me from getting in and out gracefully. Ah, there we go. So now that you've seen the inside, let's go back to the outside again. Now, what we have had this car for, it originally started out as gloss red, and our client brought it into us uh, to have a full Expel stealth paint protection film kit done. So we've given it a full stealth conversion, taking the gloss finish to a satin finish. Um, this one required a lot of custom work as well because being a vehicle that's quite uncommon, it doesn't, the standard kits don't fit. So we have to do a lot of modification, a lot of custom work. But as you can see, it creates this really, really cool, unique look. I don't think I've seen another 488 Challenge Evo in, uh, in, in this kind of a finish before. There's all different liveries, but I haven't seen a satin red one yet. And also, we did all the graphics over the top. So we've gone with a two-tone light silver and a dark silver color combo. We've mimicked a livery that you'll see online. So if you look up the 488 Challenge Evo, there is uh, quite a few that have this livery on it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if it's an option or what the deal is there, but we've gone with that style. We've uh, also used the client's uh, racing numbers on there, which is the 11, and we've got Ferrari Brisbane on the spoiler. All right, I think that wraps up most of the outside of the car now. Now we'll quickly hop in. We'll give you a quick look at starting up and moving the car. We'll bring it back into the shop awaiting uh waiting the tow truck to pick it up Alrighty, guys it's just started raining let's quickly move the car in ready to go here we go take off <laughs> all righty so paddle first gear let's go for a little cruise Spec. The steering wheel does not turn very far. <laughs> you barely need to remove your hands from it at all. Oh, and we're not even going to make it because our turning circle is not that it. amazing. But there is a reverse button. Have a look here. There's actually a reverse gear, unlike a lot of race cars, which is very cool. So we can back it up. Awesome. Neutral. No handbrake. Ignition off. Master off. And now we're gonna go stick some wheel chocks under it before it rolls away. <laughs> All right guys, that about wraps up our first review style video on the new Ferrari 488 Challenge Evo. Thanks for tuning in. Please, if you did enjoy this, like it, share, subscribe, and let us know what kind of stuff you'd like to see more of in these videos. We're still trying to figure out the format, so if you want more detailed specs, if you want to see, I don't know, startups, all those kinds of things, let us know and we will try and deliver. We've got an absolute heap of awesome cars coming up. We want to make sure you get to see it all. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.